You guys remember me? Who remembers me? Hot rods and handlebars. There's a lot of outtakes in a lot of the videos. It's extras. Artie Guap here with Hot Rods and Handlebars. Just wanted to come to you with a quick short video showcasing a recent build for Daytona. I also have some news for the Midwest Motorcycle Showdown. I don't know if you guys are coming or not. If you're not, go ahead and delete me on Facebook, unfriend me on Instagram. I don't need that kind of negativity in my life. If you are coming, then be ready to party because it's going to be a two-day extravaganza. Friday night is the pre-party. Saturday is the actual show, and we party all day long on Saturday. So if you didn't make it last year, you definitely want to make it this year. It's going to be bigger and better than ever. We've got more shops coming this year than we did last year that have already RSVP'd. If you need some information on the show, check out our website. Check out our Facebook page. We'll have the details there as well. And then today, we're going to bring you a quick short video of a recent build. So we'll roll the footage on that. And until next time, we've been super busy, but we're going to have more videos coming for you so stay tuned appreciate y'all thank you so much and we'll talk to you soon i think it's totally awesome more than what i even expected we went from different design and color back and forth me and my wife and then we kind of come up with a plan and being the perfection i am and i even though i'm not a professional painter i was even leery of anybody painting my stuff to my specs of my design that I was thinking and Art ran off with it and I am totally, totally 100% happy with the paint and design and everything as far as that goes. I just love it. It's beautiful. 100% happy. Can't wait to get to Florida and show it off to my friends. We're just doing a little arts and crafts today. It's time to load up and go. So the front wheel was a performance machine design that we had custom made and cut for a 26 inch size. Performance machine doesn't make a 26 inch in this design, so we actually had a one-off done for it. And man, I tell you what, it came out nice. It looks beautiful in person. Ended up doing a two-tone graphics. The bike originally was uh, white and he wanted some graphics and a two-tone. Green was his favorite color. So this is what we came up with for him. We sent out the stock gauges to gauge mods and had those modified. Everything is a two-tone green color, so we went with the uh, color matched face plates and matched that to the paint job. And then we also changed out the backlighting to a nice neon green color. Overall, they look sick, super bright at night, so plenty of visibility. Performance machine floorboards for both rider and passengers with that contrast cut matching some of his engine accessories. Uh, really tied in some of those smaller details that the bike was lacking originally when it came in. Um, but we did a, a custom one-off dash. Yeah. We ended up going with a Misfit 2-in-1 exhaust, which gives it that -pow 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 sound that it really needed to, to really grab your attention running down the road. We also did an MRI center stand with rear air, which gives it that, that stand-up look in the crowd. Performance machine bag latches, obviously PRV audio as always, and LED plasma rods from Custom Dynamics. We also did the seat in-house, simple, yeah. straightforward, didn't want anything crazy. Overall, we're real happy. The customer's ecstatic, and uh, what a transformation from before. 